Home County Executive Mark Hackle is calling on the governor to ease up on the restrictions and get people back to work. Hackle says the governor's six phase reopening plan is too complex and he believes now that we flattened the curve, it's time to move forward. And even the hospitals are saying we've obtained that goal now. We were able to kind of make that uh, a, a non issue. And so now the question is, why are we still you know, pushing forward with this non essential opening in a slow, progressive way? Governor says her team is still using facts and data to guide how to safely re-engage our state's economy. Meanwhile, the pandemic has people wondering about the future of one of Macomb County's most popular malls. What impact will it have on Partridge Creek? One of the stories we'll be following tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. on Local 4 News Today. Well, tonight we know what gambling will look like when MGM Grand in Detroit reopens. The casino says every other slot machine will be placed out of service. The number of players allowed per table will be limited. Plexiglass barriers will be set up at tables where social distancing isn't possible. Employees will wear face coverings and have their temperature taken before entering. And guests will be screened and offered free masks. The casino says changes were made after months of research. The COVID crisis in America has sparked House Democrats to unveil the largest relief bill ever. It includes funding for testing and a new round of $1,200 stimulus checks, but the bill is being met already with heavy opposition from Senate Republicans. What Nancy Pelosi is proposing will never pass the Senate. A warning from Senate Republicans to House Democrats on their next proposed coronavirus stimulus aid. The price tag of the bill, more than $3 trillion, making it the largest relief package in history. It's got so much unrelated to the coronavirus, it, it's dead on arrival here. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi jabbed back, saying time is of the essence. Left the families who are suffering.